Crossover is a multi-threaded immersive theater experience within virtual reality. It has five characters, four of which are ghosts, and you have three rooms to choose from. Each character has their own story, and they're happening at the same time, so you can either follow a character throughout the entire narrative, or you can choose between one of the three rooms. And each of the rooms has a theme. For example, the bedroom is about the loss of relationships, the nursery is about the loss of children, and the den is about the loss of parents. So overall, this is kind of like Sleep No More meets Sixth Sense, where there's different ghosts, and some of them know that they're dead and others don't, and there's a ghost shaman who is ultimately trying to help these ghosts cross over. And in order to cross over, they need to deal with their unresolved issues of grief. And so there's a big grief ritual at the end. So some of the innovations that we think that we're doing here is that we're creating a, a user interface in order to navigate between different rooms where there are stories that are happening in parallel. So there's different choices that the viewer has to whether or not they're gonna follow a specific character or stay in a specific room. We think that this user interface could be applied not only for computer generated virtual reality experiences, but also for live action, cinematic VR to give the user a little bit more choice. We're also using face shift in order to capture human faces and in order to bring a little bit more human emotion into VR experiences. This is allowing us to experiment with what it's like to be able to have a bit of a theater experience within VR where we can capture the expressiveness of a human face and to be able to recreate some social interactions. And what this is doing is it's creating a sense of coherence that is adding to the sense of immersion and presence. And so kind of taking a low fidelity approach, but really emphasizing both the story, the emotion, and the facial expressions. So this VR experience ends with a virtual grief ritual, which is dealing with the loss of relationships, the loss of parents, and the loss of children. We had originally written this story with kind of contrived characters that were going through a lot of drama, and what we found is that it was kind of falling flat. What we really needed was really radical authenticity and so I was actually able to draw from my own personal experiences of dealing with grief from the loss of my wife recently, the loss of my father-in-law seven years ago, as well as the loss of a pregnancy. And so this VR experience is a way for me to start to share my story in terms of what I've been through, but also create a template for people to come together and experience this grief ritual where they can start to really reconnect to their loved ones and tap into their own stories of grief by listening to this story.